Previously on round sailing, we left the Swedish south coast and turned north. We had fog during the sail and used our radar to navigate. Schillinge is a picturesque old fishing village with winding paths between the houses in the old part of the village. Something we really liked about this place. Our next stop would be the town Simrishamn, a little bit further north along the southeast coast, which is also known as Östalen. The wind is very variable here uh, in Sweden, at least for now, this time of the year. So as soon as we came out at sea, the wind died. So now we only have uh, eight knots and we are tacking our way north to Simmishamn. Doing like four, 4.4 4. 4 knots of speed. Just waiting until we get up to the markers and then we'll turn into the harbor. I think they have two uh, <coughs> transient docks where you moor alongside, which is nice. It's always easier to get on and off the boat when you're alongside the dock. So we'll just have to uh, be a little bit careful with the depth and see what it, yeah, what it, what it, what it will be. It's some, it says 2.5 and in the charts here it says 2, so 2 meters, so we will see what happens. Docking with our new boat is way easier than with old Ron. Even though she is 4 feet longer and 8 tons heavier, the sense of control in close quarters is so much higher. Much thanks to the strong bow thruster of course, but also that she doesn't drift as fast in side winds. However, you have to take care. It's hard to solve a mistake by trying to push her away, since she's around 18 tons fully loaded. It was good that we saw those signs on the dock because the signs tells which depth it is and it was actually only two spots on this dock for 2.5 meters depth. Behind us it's only 2 meters and on the other side it was only 1.6. So there we would definitely have been uh, running aground if we would have, attempt to have attempted to dock there. We will have friends visiting us today, Johan's old uh, sailing mate, uh, Christian and his wi uh, wife and um, daughter. They just had a baby, also a baby girl. And uh, then tomorrow my sister and her boyfriend comes and they will sleep one night on the boat. So we have the weekend full of visitors. And then uh, early next week, we hope we can uh, leave Skåne and sail to Blekinge. We'll... Simmershamn is the largest town in the region of Österlen, with around 6,000 residents. 
It's easy to get blind for the beauty of a place when it's close to home. But one of the best things with traveling the way we do is that we get time to really experience a place and get a feel for it before we move on. We had a delicious dinner at Apothecans and then lunch the next day at Frieden Farm. This could be uh, the Caribbean, easily I'd say. If it was just warmer. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the middle, on the middle of Österlen, you can say. Uh, Knäbäckshusen. And it is so pretty here. And already so many people. But it's a beautiful day. There are even, even a couple of surfers over there. First day on the beach. Hi, Anna. On the Vera day. It's her name day today. Vera. And I always have a V around my neck. Back on the boat we had sundowners on the aft deck and then we started preparing dinner. We tried out our electric induction cooker for the first time when we were frying halloumi. We had some really great days with friends and family. This is one of the benefits with being close to home. It makes it so much easier for them to visit. So we have returned the tally card which you use here for the showers and to get electricity on the boat. Uh, so it's a deposition of 50 kroner that we got back now. But now the card is returned and we have thrown all the garbage. Uh, so now I'm just heading to the boat and we will uh, leave the dock. We're going to a little island called Hane which we've heard very good things about so we are pretty excited for that and the weather is absolutely beautiful we have uh, around 20 degrees celsius already and uh, this whole week is gonna be really warm so there's still a little uh, northerly wind but it's gonna calm down and then turn to the south so we're expecting a nice downwind sail uh, the 30 31 nautical miles that we have today we're heading north
we just started sailing. The wind has finally come back. Not a lot. We have around seven to eight knots of wind. Uh, but the swell is a bit bigger since it was pretty high winds yesterday uh, from the northeast. So that stops us a bit. Uh, but it's it's quite okay. Um, so now we, I guess we have around 25 nautical miles left or something like that to hone up. And during the day the wind will continue to uh, change uh, direction. Right now we have it in uh, yeah, 60 degrees, but I guess it will be straight downwind in a few hours from now. And then we probably need to uh, put up the whisker pole on the starboard side and uh, sail wing on wing. We'll have hamburgers today. I got. Yeah. Hopefully. Gud, vad gott det ser ut. Mm. Då blir det riktigt mest kock Johan. Ska jag hålla? Oj, 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 kladd, kladd. <laughs> ja, det kommer aldrig gå. Jag kan inte ha en så stor hund. <laughs> Jaws Gripen fighter jet did a flyby and made a turn around the boat. It most likely came from the nearby military airfield in Ronneby. Was loud. Wow. Did you get when he turned around us? I think so. As predicted, the wind has now changed direction quite a lot, so we're straight downwind. And we have uh, 50 nautical miles left to Hana. And uh, we have brought out the whisker pole and we have the head sail on starboard side. Actually, we can't really go the correct course anymore because the wind has turned to shift even more. So go on the correct course now. We need to move the whisker pole to the other side. But we're only 10 degrees off. So I think I will wait for a while and see what the wind does. We have around seven knots apparent right now, doing five knots on the ground. <coughs> Hello. <coughs> there. I don't know if she rather eats the this one. Hawklap. Being at sea on days like this gives me that inner peace. Okay, maybe the sailing could be a bit faster, the wind a bit stronger, but in the end that doesn't really matter.
What matters is that sense of freedom that is always most present at sea for me. Feeling the wind while sailing towards a new destination. So we have left our home province of Skåne and we're entering the province of Blekinge. And uh, we had to take over the sail, you know, uh, to the port side again because the winds are pretty variable at the moment. And it has dropped a bit. Now we have only have six to seven knots apparent wind and we're doing four to 4.5 knots of speed over ground. But we only have eight nautical miles left to Hane and uh, the weather is just so nice. Uh, this big high pressure that has moved in is probably going to stay for the whole week and I bet that this sunset tonight will be really great because now we are have sea again on the west side so we can actually have a proper sunset over the ocean. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification if you haven't already. A big thank you to all of our patrons for making these videos possible. If you would like to support our production through Patreon or PayPal, find the links in the description below. See you next week!